has happened there before my story starts. Uh, we're, the first thing to do is to read the question twice. Oh my god, I think someone needs to stop on my back. Once I read the question twice, what should I do? Read that. Yes, read the last sentence, because that will be yeah, actually what you're looking for. <laughs> No. Now you guys laugh about this, okay? But so many things are missing word problems for people skimming over. For example, on that last test, one of the words, the last word problem, Mr. Proofs in the pool. One of the key words. Can I talk here, please? One of the key words is exactly the same area, and a lot of people miss that, right? Okay, so that's that's what it means. Uh, step number three, and this is a new part. Draw a diagram. Yeah. Now, guys, please. Okay, we're going to draw a diagram. Now, here's the thing. In this unit, can somebody tell me what the shape of my diagram is probably going to be? Good, wonderful. Okay, good. So, if you don't know where to start, do this on the page. Okay, if you don't know where to start. Okay, now it might be, it might, yes, it might be like an upside down triangle if you're like dropping and things like that, okay? But just to get yourself started, the triangle has to be on the page, okay? You have to see it. And number four. At the end, ask if the ask if your diagram makes sense. Okay. We're probably going to be on Tuesday test. How many are there going to be? Oh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Can I continue, please? Okay. So the, the idea with does my diagram make sense? If you're talking about Spider-Man climbing up a wall, this is not a wall. Okay, right? If you're talking the idea of um, somebody climbing up a ladder, right? Generally, this isn't the ladder, right? The ladder would probably be like on. So just when you're working on the question, say, okay, does that diagram sort of actually make sense to what we're actually being asked, okay? So we're, um, because I see all sorts of interesting diagrams, okay? So just sort of, and I should probably put on here somewhere a uh, label um, all sides in English. Like, as in... So what that means is like ladder, wall, okay. ground, that sort of thing. So it makes it a lot easier to, to see here. Okay? Um, because we're getting, starting in the next unit two, there'll be more triangles that aren't necessarily right angles. Okay, so um, those will be ones too that'll be fun. Okay. Here we go, example one, are we ready? Mm -hmm. um, how many, do you know, approximately <coughs> how many words problems will be? Uh, lots. Four problems. Four, you said? Are they like as long as they Sorry? Are they like as long as they steps and things like that? No, not at all. Not at all. It's more like the um, it's, um, elimination substitution. Right? Like that whole task with word problems. And those are the ones you guys all aced, okay? Yeah. So um, these are straightforward. Here. So Spidey um, sees um, his nemesis. Venom. On the top of a tentacle. Could you please do this? Uh, if his web uh, travels 14 meters. So this is like the straightforward question. This is the one that I expect everyone in the class to be able to get, okay, with a little bit of thought. So it says, Spidey sees his nemesis. That's his arch enemy. If you don't know anything about Spider-Man, he's a good guy. Venom is what they call a bad guy, okay? Um, on the top of a 10-meter building. If you don't know anything about Spider-Man, he shoots webs out of his hands like this. He does this, and his web travels through the air, okay? If you don't, I think that's what happens. You'll see Okay. Um, so I want to say if his web travels at 14 meters, at what angle must Spidey aim? All right. Now, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. So like it's 10 meters, you draw it in 10 meters. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, so I read that question, I'm looking for an angle of a strike here. So are they Here's, on the ground? Yeah, I'm going to say Spidey's on the ground. Yeah, okay. So the building there is going to be 10 meters, and I'll write that as building. 
But it's going to be over here someplace. Is he visible yet? No. Uh, I'm sure if he were to there must cover it up there, cover the nose, I'm sure he could, but he tries not to. Um, okay, so if he's going to shoot his web at Venom, where is Venom located? Up on the building. Oh, on the top of the building, so I'm calling V for Venom. Spider-Man will shoot upwards, okay? So this is going to be his web traveling through the air, sort of like that. What? Yes. Is this going to be the best thing about this thing? But, you know how, like, the new Spider-Man, he doesn't actually produce it out of his body? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like his machine. Well, how did he not run out? Here's the thing. I'm going to pause because the NF doesn't need to hear this. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're focused on that, though. I guess. Okay, so here we go. There's the building. That's all right. There's the building. There's the web. The web is going to go 14 meters, it says. What? One second. What are we actually going here, please? What are we actually looking for? Oh, sir. Now, what angle are we looking for? The top angle or the bottom angle? Aiden. Bottom angle, because that's where Spider Man is. Because we're talking about what angle must Spider Man aim at. So it's there. Now, I'm going to pause in the video. I want you guys to solve for theta, please. So label it off. So uh, can I get a brave soul, Maya, to oh. tell me what's the offset in the adjacent of my botanies, please? Yeah. Okay. All right, Emily Moser, can you tell me, please, I'm using sine or cos or tan in this case? Yes, we are. So, all right, sine of theta equals yeah. opposite over hypotenuse. We have to do subs and numbers in for me, please. Yeah. Um, so, sine equals. Yeah. Um, I know. Great. Now, can someone with great self confidence raise their hand? <laughs> great. Uh, can tell me how to solve for theta, please? Um, well, theta equals 25. Okay, good. But how'd you get that? Good. Negative one bracket, ten divided by four bracket. Not four. I'm going to four. Hundred fourteen bracket, and that equals. Can we raise that? Forty-five point six. No, forty-five point six. I bracket. Forty-five point six. Should I even? Wait, I have a question. Yeah. Like, is it like that or should I bracket? It should be rounded always. That's the number. That is not. What was the actual number? Forty-five point six. Forty-five point five eight, da 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 da. But because the eight, it's going to round up forty-five point six. Now hold on. If you were to give me this, let me ask, answer that, then I'll go. Yes, Chris. Can you see? Can you do this So, if you were to give me this, um, Jessica, as an answer on my test, I would only give you three and a half out of four, which I forgot to do. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica, stop, guys, please. Can you tell me, please, a suitable there for statement for this question? Go ahead. Okay, so here's one little uh, note I want to put in here. I'm going to draw a picture of a person. I'm going to make a knee. What? 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 Oh, I see how it's a person now. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, perfect match, isn't it? Yeah, put more hair. Is that you? That's me. Okay, so there's that's me, but just go with it. So because that's the hair that I have, can't you see the person? The point I'm trying to say is this: there's two different angles that I want to talk about. Okay, if you're looking across, it's straight up. So we're going to say an angle of elevation is 
looking up from the horizon. Uh, this is also, I think, called inclination. No, this is just maybe you don't have to draw the air and all that stuff. Right? I'm just thinking I just want to be a person looking across and looking upwards in elevation. This is also called inclination as well, too. The textbook sometimes uses that, I'll use elevation. Right? So if I were to say, uh, Mr. Sadler looks up at an angle elevation of 60 degrees, that means I'm looking straight across and I look up 60 degrees, yes. What's that, sorry, over time? He's kind of like looking sideways and shooting like Go with me here. Just go with me here. Okay, we're staying with realism. My hair obviously doesn't quite look like that. Uh, this might be the Crockett cap, I think, on my head. I don't know. All right, so there's the angle of elevation. Now, here's the uh, fence apart. Here we go. There is also something called an angle of depression. Okay, and so if you are a teenager and you're depressed, how do you look? Look down. You're sad. Now, please note, so the angle of depression is from straight across looking downwards. It is not like looking at your toes and looking up. If you're a little depressed and you look up, does that mean you're still depressed? Well, not really, okay? That's why I found this part here, okay? So an angle of depression and this is the number one mistake that's made for people. Okay, so angle of depression is looking across and straight down. So angle depression, just so we're clear, because this is what gets people mixed up. Because well, the next question is going to involve me standing on a building, <coughs> looking at an angle of depression. Okay, um, it's not. Clearly, I am not. Okay, but the idea is here: it's, it's the angle of depression is looking across and looking down. It's not looking at your toes and looking up. Okay, so that's the thing that people get mixed up on this. Okay? I pause in the video and give you guys a break, and then I'm going to do the next example. Twelve minutes. Yeah.